And we go now to reactions to the sacking of Dennis Meadows as the PNP standard bearer for Northern Trelawney after he endorsed scamming at a party meeting. Anthony Log has the details. Mr. Meadows was sacked by the People's National Party less than 24 hours after this video went viral. Especially when you call themselves Chopper. Yeah. 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 Let me tell you straight up. Yeah. And he can speak openly. Yeah. I have no problem with a man if he want chop. Yeah. Because them choppers during slavery. Yeah. So nothing wrong if we chop them out. In a release Thursday, PNP President Mark Golding said the continuation of Mr. Meadows as the party standard bearer for Northern Trelawney was untenable in light of his egregious remarks given that scamming is one of Jamaica's most serious national security challenges. Mr. Golding said his decision should serve as a warning to all who serve in the PNP under his leadership. He says the party is demanding higher standards of accountability, adding that Jamaica will no longer tolerate weak, unprincipled leaders who say one thing but do another. Civil society groups have been reacting to the developments. Human rights group Jamaicans for Justice, while welcoming the news, had questions. Mikhail Jackson is executive director. Notwithstanding that the People's National Party has acted, one must raise the question whether or not the PNP was in fact aware of the video prior to it becoming public um, yesterday. And if that were the case, then reasonable questions must be asked. What is expected of political leaders and the political parties that if an action, something that is questionable and troubling, does not meet with public outcry, would they have acted on their own? For anti-corruption watchdog National Integrity Action, politicians like other members who hold public office must be held to account for their actions. The bar must be set as high as possible. We must have persons of unquestionable integrity seeking to represent us in Parliament. It cannot be the same approach every day where we say something and then apologize because of the impact it has had. Tom drunk but Tom no fool. And so there must be consequences. And if it is that he has been removed, then well done. Mr. Meadows resigned from the JLP in March 2022. He joined the PNP in October of that year. Anthony Lug, TVJ News.